because we know that the 1s orbital has the lowest energy so it will be the first orbital to fill then the 2s orbital so once the 1s orbital is full we'll move on to the 2s orbital so when we have filled two electrons then we move to the 2s orbital and then the 2s orbital starts filling so then 2s orbital then 2p orbital then the 3s orbital then 3p orbital and then the 4s orbital now you must be thinking why did we not go from 3p to 3d why did we go from 3p to 4s so we actually go diagonal so 1s 2s there was nothing going diagonal so we could not go anywhere else then 2p and 3s they are diagonal and that's why we go directly from 2p to 3s then 3p and 4s are diagonal so we go from 3p to 4s so actually the 4s orbital has lower energy than the 3d orbital and that's why the 4s orbital will fill first uh, i repeat the 4s orbital has lower energy than the 3p orbital so the 4s orbital will fill first compared to the 3d orbital so we are actually filling the orbitals like this 1s then 2s then 2p then 3s then 3p then 4s then uh, not sorry uh, yeah then 3p then 4s then 3d then 4p then f uh, 4p and then you'll have a 5s over here 5s 5s then uh, 4d 4d will be accompanied by 5p so 4d 5p so you can see how we are filling these orbitals now uh, we are actually not doing anything beyond 4s because we will not encounter any situation beyond 4s so i'm just cancelling all this out this was just to explain to you but this is how orbitals fills fill this is the order uh, sorry 3d will also be there because it's in the third shell but so this is the order in which orbitals fill this order 1s then 2s then 2p then 3s then 3p then 4s then 3d now let's see why we have only two electrons in the first shell and why we have only eight electrons in the second shell let's see how this theory will help us explain this concept now let's take hydrogen now hydrogen has only one electron and because hydrogen has only one electron it will go into the 1s so this is the orbital for hydrogen then when we come to helium helium has two electrons so again we stick to the 1s but we'll have a pair an electron pair here because you can see that the 1s can can have a total of two electrons so we have a total of two electrons again we are still on the 1s so that's why if you look at the atomic structure for hydrogen then you have one electron this is the nucleus i'm writing n over here to, for nucleus and then again n over here then there are two electrons over here for helium now you can see then from 1s we go directly to 2s there is nothing else and that is why we can only fill a maximum of two electrons in the first shell because we can only fill two uh, electrons in the 1s subshell because it's only one orbital and there is no other subshell in the first first shell there, there is only one subshell in the first shell which is the 1s subshell and there is only one orbital in the first shell which is the 1s orbital so we we can only fill two electrons in the first shell then when we come to lithium which has three electrons we will be first filling two in 1s and we will be filling one in 2s so 1s 2s and that's why when we draw the configuration for helium the the atomic structure for helium then we will have this and one electron over here then when we take uh, beryllium which has four electrons uh, 1s will have two electrons then we'll have 2s in the uh, 2s with the other two electrons so total four electrons so when we draw the atomic structure for i forgot to write n over here when we draw the atomic structure for beryllium one two one 
2. So you can see 4 electrons uh, in total. Now when I draw from beryllium.